hello everyone thank you for tuning in today's recipe i will show you how to fry tilapia fish i am rosie you are welcome to my kitchen here i have some tilapia fish which i'm going to be using to begin i will start by cleaning the fish and i'll be using a scale remover to take out the scales from the fish you can also use a knife to do this as well any fish that contains scales the scales needs to be removed before the fish can be prepared so i'll flip it to the other side and clean that side as well Once all the scales are off, I will use a kitchen scissors to take out the films from the fish. And I'm going to be repeating this process with the second fish as well. And I'll take out the tail. Once that is done, I will be washing and cutting them off camera. And that is done. I'll pat them dry with a paper towel. And to season the fish, I will use salt, dried pepper, all-purpose seasoning. And to cut the fish, I will be using flour, cornstarch. You can use olive flour if you don't have cornstarch. And you will need oil to fry the fish. So the fish, I will add salt dried pepper or purple seasoning you can also use any season of your choice to season the fish fish has its own natural taste it doesn't need a lot of seasons to make it to taste good once that is done I will cover and leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes. If you are going to be leaving it for so long, you need to put it in the refrigerator. And once the fish is well marinated, I will take off the cover. In a pan, I will add some oil and start heating up the oil. And I'm going to be using a strainer and I will line in the strainer with a paper towel to collect the fish once the fish is out of the oil. In a bowl, I will add in flour, cornstarch, and the cornstarch is going to make the fish to be very crispy. You can also use olive flour if you don't have cornstarch and i'll mix everything together until it is well combined next i'll be cutting the fish this fish is going to come out very crispy outside and it's going to be moist inside it's going to be very very delicious And I will repeat this process until I am done coating all of them. Once 
once i have enough that can fit in the pan i'll go ahead to start frying the fish i will use a skewer to check the oil temperature once you see bubbles around the skewer that means the oil is hot and to flavor the oil i'll add some garlic and onions and this is going to take this fried fish to another level of deliciousness you can also add some fresh herbs like rosemary if you have as well and i am frying this fish on a high heat so i will flip it from time to time so they can fry evenly once they are well fried i will take them out of the hot oil transfer them to the strainer lining with paper towel to take out any excess oil from the fried fish And I'll add in the next batch and I'm also going to be frying them on a high heat until they are ready and at this point I'll be taking out the onions and garlic they've already built in the flavor already and once this batch are ready I will take them out of the hot oil and transfer them to the strainer lining with a paper towel as well fried fish can be enjoyed with any dish they are very very delicious and you can also have them any time of the day the fried fish is ready very crispy outside and super moist inside thank you all so much for watching remain blessed i will see you in my next video